Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe... A little patience is all I require. <laughs> Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
you? When are you gonna let me take you out for an evening into town? You know, to a, like a magic lantern show or some such. I don't... I think I'm getting a little long in the tooth for... Oh, nonsense. How about tomorrow? Well, let me think. So that's a yes? Okay. Well, now if I'm gonna go out with you, I'm gonna have to look my best, so... Can I borrow ten dollars? Can I borrow a few dollars? I'm good for it. Borrow money? Oh, you horrible man! Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
that pound. <clears throat> 